this is a motorcycle kitten um, chain cleaning kit. I will be unboxing this and trying it out and uh, the link will be in the description below. But before I can get unbox this, I'm going to go and take my bike up to the wash and just get rid of all the rubbish that is on the chain. Let's go outside and have a look see what it looks like. You can see that the chain is really looking ridiculous. I have not cared for this at all, or the way that it should. It feels stiff. There's very little play, so it hasn't stretched. But it's covered in all sorts of grime. So I'm going to clean this all out. See that that helped a little. It's a motorcycle chain kit that is meant to help you clean your chain. Um, it seemed what I liked about it was the fact that you seem to be able to soak your chain really well in diesel and be able to really get into all the nooks and crannies better than just a brush. It comes like a box. It's a box like this. So when opened up. It's got bristles on the inside that brushes from the top and below and all over at the same time. It allows um, your cleaning liquid to be put in and it appears as though it, it drains out quite, quite easily as well. So it really gets to the places that it is supposed to go. It clips onto your chain and then you run your chain through that. It did say you need to cut these little white bristles at the length, at the width of the chain um, the, the smaller the links on the inside all right I can see mine's a little bit on the long side so let's see if I can find my scissors it's got to be in the middle so I mean it doesn't help you cut off too much on the one side nothing on the other side but then it's just it's gonna be abrasive on the or clean the one side of your chain it's gonna brush past the other side which is kind of defeats the object of this whole exercise Let's see. See in the middle. This one fits on top of the chain. This one on the bottom of the chain. Clips together. And is held in place. Oh. Come on. There we go. So, nice and solidly hooked into place. And it's got a drown pipe. We're going to be moving it that way. Oh, that, that way. So, it's got a handy little goodie here for extra dexterity. And that's going to hook in there. And then this one's going to hook somewhere else, anywhere I suppose. Hooking it at the bottom there keeps it going pretty straight as it goes through there. Now I just need to put on the juice. You can see how dirty it is at the moment. Quite a fair amount of gunk still on there, even though I've been to the, the washer. I've got some diesel. Uh, let's fill that up.
Okay, well. 500 meters, 500 milliliters of diesel has gone through. Dirty, 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 dirty chain. I'm going to put another 500 through. I didn't expect to drip quite so much, but I suppose that's just an idiot of me not thinking it's going to drip. Of course it's going to drip. Doesn't look too bad on the inside. So I reckon I could still do another couple of washes. Still going to get a cloth on that. The big question is, would I recommend this product and would I use it again? I certainly would use it again. It gives the chain a really good deep clean that I was looking for. It is very messy. So bearing that in mind, I will take better precautions the next time I use it. And I would then also recommend this product. I wish you all the luck in your search for the ideal chain cleaning solution. Try to keep it straight. You know, it's like cutting your fringe. You think you cut off just enough and you wind up cutting off too much. So, for the home barbers out there during the COVID time. All right, so now the other side. I didn't expect to drip quite so much, but I suppose that's just an idiot of me not thinking it's going to drip. Of course it's going to drip. Okay. 